This is our 2006 BMW E63 M6, which we plan to turn into somewhat of a track car. Yes, we know, this isn't a very common vehicle to proceed with such activities. But, we think we might be onto something. As everyone knows by now, it's powered by the legendary S85 V10, and previously on the series we took the M6 to TRS Performance, to see exactly how much power it was making. Peter worked his magic Greek hands on the ECU calibration and managed to squeeze another 13 horsepower out of the beast. <laughs> but what does this have to do with a subframe? And what is this big blue and white GT3 car with no engine? Don't worry, I'll explain later. Earlier in the series, we showed you guys some parts we had selected in order to turn our M6 into an E92 M3 destroyer. We then decided to weigh the M6 and find out how fat it really was. We were pleasantly surprised. 1,650 kg. While we had the M6 on the ramp, we decided to take a look underneath and see exactly what we had actually purchased. Fortunately, it was nothing too scary. Just a regular old 100,000 mile, 18 year old BMW. But this isn't good enough. With corroded brake lines, warm bushes, and a bit of rust here and there, and unlike the E46 and the F chassis cars, where there is a plethora of tested and proven race and street parts, for our M6, there is simply nothing. And we couldn't put standard parts back onto the car even if we wanted to, because most of them were indefinitely backordered from BMW. This was meant to be a simple build. And after a straight week of stressing out, we decided we were going to do this properly. It's unlikely at this stage that you know we're going to attempt to build the M6 from standard car to little club sport track car all within 24 hours. We're going to have all the tools out, we're going to set a clock and we're going to film. But because we're quite experienced in fucking stuff up, because that's what happens when you work with cars, I'm preparing a few things in advance so that we don't get to 20 minutes into 24 hours and realize we can't actually do it. <laughs> so I'm preparing things like spare arm, uniball, press. Because it could go wrong with the day, we can press this sideways, this could break, this could shit, and then that's it, the whole project's battered. Bin. Bin. So things like prepping one of the spare rear subframes. Wow. Uh, did, we, did I just say that? No. But where is this rear subframe coming from? Remember when I said I'd explain later? It's now later. This is the M6 GT3, and initially it started off as a V10 DCT GT3 project, and at the moment it's on the back burner. While we finish other projects, some of the parts are surplus to requirements. So now, yeah, it's basically our parts car. <laughs> I'm going to have two different sets of E88s, both gold, both 10 fronts, 11 rears, but with two 
different size AO52 tyres. <laughs> because what we have at the minute is essentially an F chassis setup. We've got 265 35 front and 295 30 rears, 18 inch obviously. I think they're going to be too small. So we're going to go with a 265 40 front and a 295 35 rear, as well as. So we're going to play around with it, we're going to try it. I'm trying to eliminate all aspects of a potential fuck up from not allowing us to. To, to do this in 24 hours. We go and do this in 24 hours. So, all the spare parts. I'm even gonna buy spare bolts and shit. Here but we're even leaving the paint to the 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, Sean's doing the cage for us now. Yep. The car was dropped off today. But I've asked him, don't do anything to do with paint, just prime it. When the car comes back, we're going to throw the rear interior back in. And then when the clock starts, then we're gonna put the cage in the booth. We're gonna paint it, we're gonna bake it, and tear it out, seats, blah, 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 blah. It's still gonna be quite a substantial build because there's gonna be certain sections, like the floor pan, you come over here, so this is an E46, but it doesn't matter. So on the M6, this section of the seat mount doesn't have these holes, it's got a lot more sort of fascia on it. That's where you weld the eyelets, or the plate in the eyelets for the harnesses. So all the stuff like all that welding, paint, all that shit, that is all gonna be done within that 24 hour stage. I'm just trying to eliminate things that can and, and do go wrong often. Okay, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So that, yeah. that's what we're trying to do. So that's, Which so makes that's sense. What, so that's what I'm doing today, I'm prepping. So, so it's we, more satisfying for the viewer. Yeah, if yeah, we, well, yeah, because like, imagine, just don't and us, yeah. we're prepped, the pizza's in, the music's on, the fucking Red Bull's in the fridge. There's seven of us here, everyone's gang gang. And it's immediately fucked. And then it's fucked. So, spare arms, E92 M3 KMP Uniballs. I'm gonna go grab that, grab this, bang that in. 20 ton press, that Ed felt necessary. Cool. I shall get some B-roll yeah, with you. Yeah, let's get some B-roll. We got this, boys. Just, it's just got a, it's just got a, it's just got a, I'm not sure this is a tonight job. Are you sure? Well, let me have a look. Yeah, you come have a look. <laughs> come have a look. It's a Thursday evening. I'm fucking tired. This is the reality of car shit. It's like nine o'clock at night. I've been driving for five hours. Okay, okay. I'm fucking we'll tired. We'll do it tomorrow. And picked up two sets of wheels, picked up all the freshly powder coated stuff. It's half nine. <laughs> I'm fucking knackered. All right, okay, let's go then. Let's go. I can't sleep. Come so, bitch. Come, come actually, come, come. You hear me say about the... Uh, oh yeah, you have to harnesses. do that. So we got to weld the plates on onto the other car and we got to weld the hoops on into the other car as well. Okay. Shots, yeah. Well, rough. <laughs> you blind. Can't see me. Oh. All the way down to 13 or whatever's left in the in the thing.
Have you looked underneath an exit? Be quiet! Yeah, shut the fuck up! Oh, sorry, John. Sorry. I'm just... Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Audio Man. You what, friend? This one a second ago. He has. Oh, no, he's... No, I, I was doing it the other way, and he goes, push! No, no, don't push. Get a socket. Oh, no, it is Paul. Get a socket. The orientation is confusing. Castrovia! That's a dry break connector. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Guess what? No more leak. Well, hopefully the O-rings will That's correct. what I thought, yeah. Oh no, see it won't. It's coming up. So this is a lesson for everyone. Wait, wait. Because this isn't this an actual yeah. proper dash yeah, yeah. So on the chamfered on the chamfered section. It's not allowing the like pivoty bit to fully seal. So although it's sealed on there, it's not sealed on the full fitting. So we'll get the dry fit connector off. And voila.
Okay. because of the, the stick. However, Why is the subframe in the boot? Where's it going? What's happening? I don't know. Find out in the next episode of No One Knows How To Fucking YouTube. But in the meantime, make sure you've liked and subscribed. Eh, uh, double camera. Double camera. You'll never guess what happened to our Rolls Royce Wraith. Man no, stop it. it. Stop uh, it. Sorry, 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 sorry. So the easiest way to ensure that the, the bush will never, ever, ever, ever come loose is to um, tiger seal it in place. I'm sorry, Paste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this supposed to be part of the 24 hour bit? No. So we'll add this to the 24 hours somehow. Oh. I'll probably be wearing different t-shirts and all sorts of shit. But... No. Okay, we can so just say we're preparing. We, we don't need to lie. We're what not... videos is this going to be? A, is this a Wednesday video or is this a Sunday video? It could be a Wednesday video. This can be a Wednesday video. Do we need microphones? No. So this is going to be a Wednesday video. Yeah. Like outtakes. Behind the scenes? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I don't know. You don't know and you probably don't care.